Next I'm going to demonstrate how to design the bolt here. Notice that it has a total length of 3.2 inches. The length of the actual um, threaded part is um, 3 inches. And then we have the 0.2 inch thick uh, hexagon ahead. And then we have a little chamfer here. Uh, and again, there is another typo. This sh should be a 0 0.03 by 0 0.03 or a 30 thousandths chamfer, not a 300 thousandths chamfer. So going to the um, inventor here, we're going to just go File New, create a part, and then a 2D sketch on the XY plane. We're going to make a circle. I think they had it at 0.26 inches, and we're going to extrude it to three inches long. I didn't do, I'm not going to do a symmetric extrude. I don't have any reflections for symmetry, but um, you could. It's not going to hurt anything if you do. So now I'm going to go OK. Create a new sketch on this face. And instead of a rectangle, I'm going to go to the drop down and go to polygon. And by default, it chooses a six-sided polygon, um, which will be a hexagon here for us and we'll make the hexagon. I need to look back at the picture to see the size. Um, so the flat to flat of the hexagon is 0.3 inches or 300 thousandths. So now that the hexagon is um, created I'm just going to go D for dimension or I can select the dimension button here. Click this face and move over and click this again move my cursor up and type in 0.3. Then I'm going to hit E for extrude and I'm going to extrude that out at 0.2 inches for the top of the bolt. Now they want a chamfer that is 30 thousandths. However, we can't really do the standard chamfer because it, it doesn't look right because that's not how they're made. And so if I did just the standard chamfer at 30 thousandths and selected each, each of these edges, it would look like this, which is incorrect. That's not how the bolt looks. And so I'm going to right click and delete this and show you how to make um, the chamfer that they're looking for. First thing I'm going to do is go on the drop down and look for a plane that goes through the points of the hexagon. It looks like the YZ plane is the one, so I'm going to just right click and go visibility to make that plane visible. Then I'm going to start a sketch on that plane. Notice that the sketch is actually in the middle of the bolt, but the bolt is kind of in the way. And so if I hit F7, it gives me a cutaway view of the bolt. Next thing I'm going to do is go project geometry and just project that little part right there. Then I'm going to click line, zoom in a little bit, and make a little chamfer or a little line here to make this little triangle. I do need to dimension it from this point to the corner at 0.03 and this point to this corner at 0 0.03. Once I've done that, I'm going to finish the sketch and I'm going to use the revolve tool. And the revolve tool will help me cut away that little triangle. First I need to select that profile. And so I'm going to go here and it's highlighted, so I'm going to select this. Then I need to choose the axis of rotation. The axis of rotation is actually the z-axis. So I'm going to click that. And then finally, instead of adding material, I'm going to cut material away. And I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hide the plane by right-clicking and going visibility. And that's the chamfer that um, we need to have.
Now it didn't say anything in the model about threads. You can put some threads on um, the part if you would like. It's not necessary, but you could just do that. And we could just have a full thread, or if you wanted a partial thread, you could. The drawing didn't give us any information about um, the threads, and so you don't have to put them in. But it does give you the, the visual look of a thread. Finally, I'm just going to change the material and save the part.